Hello, hello, how are we doing today? Lori from Art Lore, thanks for joining me. Uh, today we're going to do 20 by 24. I'm going to try to get uh, a spinning deconstructed bloom over the edges. I'd like to do three. Um, if I have to fill in the corners, I will. I'm not looking for negative space at all today. So, um, but I did want to point something out. Um, I, I got my, my mat. I got it down and um, I expressed this in another video, how wonderful it is. But I wanted to show you, um, I left the paint on here. And what I do is when I have my runoff, and if I can't save it because there's little particles and stuff in there, um, what I do is I, I smooth it out with a spatula. And then I just, this mat is just flipping incredible. I do this. And then I kind of tear it a little bit. And I just go right around. And it just all comes off. And for you uh, artists out there that um, love doing your skins for jewelry, I mean, this is the bomb. I mean, holy cow. It is just wonderful how it just all pulls off. And they have them all in different sizes. This one is the 60 by 48. My table is 48 by 48, and I did have to cut it. Um, I just used an X-Acto knife and pieced it together on the back side of the table. And there you go. There's still a couple little spots here and there, but that's okay. Um, but I don't do skins for my jewelry. I dip my jewelry. So um, I don't... Um, I just don't do it that way, but for you that do do it that way, oh my gosh, this would be a whole different um, level for you because you, they can, you can get them in small pieces and then you can do your blooms or your creations, whatever you do, and then just peel it off. I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing. That's all I got to say. Okay, so now here we go. Uh, colors today, I did. Um, this is a green it's like a sagey green and I did uh, primary yellow and I did um, primary red and phthalo cyanide blue and then I added just a little bit of white and I am going to double check to make sure you all are in focus and you are this one here is just a super duper light gray uh, mostly white with just a hint, just a hint of black to get this really pretty gray. This is white with a little bit more gray. Or I'm, I'm sorry, white with a little bit more black. And to get this uh, nice charcoal-y uh, gray color. This one here is a combination of Artist Loft uh, uh, bronze and or copper I'm sorry copper artist love copper and the chroma copper and it's really really pretty and I think that the copper and this green ooh, I'm hoping that it shows up even the copper in this uh, dark gray is really pretty this one here is leftover from the other day and this is my white with the golden um, iridescent pearl fine. So I'm hoping that this will uh, work well and uh, the copper will weave into that a little bit. And then of course I have my Aussie Flow, which is four to one this time. And I did the Australian Flow trial with the XI Black Amsterdam. So let's get to it. We are going to go right for the center. And start with my green and we're going to kind of go light uh, dark light dark kind of medium light because of the copper and then ending in the pearl um, 
I want the copper and the pearl to be together to to be together so that I can uh, hopefully get some of those kinds of cells. We, we shall see. There's my light gray and then my dark gray. I probably just thought of that. I think I put too much of that in there, but oh well. And then here is the yummy copper. Ooh, that is so, so pretty. I'll just add a little bit more right there. I don't like using that end of the spoon though. That just bugs me for some reason. I don't know why. I like the other end of the spoon. Or the stick, whatever you want to call it. There. Okay, now the white. There we go. Okay. I hope this isn't too thin, my, my uh, cell activator. I'm going to, oh, I do see a little bit of a halo, so that's a good sign. Um, cool air, but I'm going to do low or medium low fan just because I'm just going to, I've been doing this lately and I just kind of want to keep trying it and see how it pairs well with these colors. Uh, just pushing them out a little bit more gentle as opposed to really pushing them out. much gray the dark gray because it's really taking over so I may do this one over um, I'm going to do another one here and another one here and not add nearly as much as that dark gray and see how that works so we're going to go with my green here and if anything I can just plop another one right on top Don't mind this lighter gray, but that dark gray, I knew it as I did it, I got carried away. And I'm like, seriously, I need to think. All right, we're just going to drizzle just a little bit of that. Not a whole lot. I do see some copper in there. Cells are popping up really pretty. I'm glad I did these two last. We'll just go a little bit more of this. All right, there we go. I love the color combination. I just wished I wouldn't have goofed and put too much of that gray, the darker gray in there. Okay, here we go. Let's give this a whirl.
think there's something in there. So let's just take a peek. And it's something. Okay, adding less gray definitely was better. However, I think once I spin it, um, I think a lot of that will come off because it's really selling up pretty cool and I don't want to ruin that. I don't want to take that away. Okay, we're going to go for another one right here. And hopefully this will, um, I can blow some of this over that and um, kind of take some of that away. It's definitely a different color palette for me. I I love earth tones, but I don't generally do earth tones. It's very rare. So um, I thought it'd be kind of fun. And I never really do this color green. It's just not my thing. But I'm really liking it, especially with this copper. Yeah, those cells are really cute. Okay, last but not least. Okay, here we go. we go. I didn't kill the cells in the center, which is good. There's a lot of paint here, but that will spin off. I'm feeling like I'm pretty good with coverage that will flow over the side when we spin and deconstruct the spin, the bloom. Um, yeah. Let's let this come up. These are super cute cells. So yeah. Let me cover up my edges, let the cells pop up in the center, and then we get to spin. Okay, we're back and we are ready to spin. Ooh, I'm excited. See, aren't those cells really pretty? I love how the copper popped up with the um, white, with that pearl, um, the iridescent pearl fine by Golden. There's the center bloom, and I did get to kind of push that out of the way. There's the other bloom, sorry for the shadow. Um, there we go. Yeah, I think it's going to be really, really pretty. Yes, I love that. And you can see the copper interweaving 
in among all the colors and I'm loving this copper combination. So let's get to spinning. That's the fun part. Well, it's all fun, but I do love spinning because I like to see the end results. Okay, you're in focus, you're in frame. Okay. So let's just give it a little gentle spin here and see what happens. Hoping everything comes off to the sides, off the flows off the edges. Um, because I'm not really looking for negative space. We'll see what happens if I get any or not. Let's just see where we're at here. Okay. Maybe I'll get negative space. You know, it, it just always goes that way. When I don't want negative space, I get it. When I do want it, I don't get it. So, um, I think I'm going to go this way. Just to kind of even it out a little bit. See what happens. I may pull it closer to the edge of the spinner and see if that will help to encourage more off the edges. Let's just see. Really pretty, but we still have a lot of paint going on in there. So, um, let's see if I can get this over right there. And then give it a little spin. I'm thinking the center bloom, I probably didn't blow this way um, enough, but uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see if we can work on that to get that to come out. I'm trying to stop it. There we go. So it is coming out. I love the colors. They are so pretty. Um, Yeah, I'm going to scrape this because I want to bring this forward on this side in a moment. Let me just look at this a little bit here. Colors are so, so pretty and there's lots of really cool cell action going on here and there. Um, still have a boatload of paint. I see a little bit of a line there that I don't like, so I need to fix that. a little bit of a line there but I don't like when it's too defined there we go this I don't mind because that's a petal so that's okay um I think I'm going to go again in this direction to see if I can get that um, off the edge there a little bit. There we go. 
go. Now we're getting there. Um, not actually minding the negative space now that I have it. Um, it's really exposing the center bloom, um, meaning in paint here. It's really exposing the center bloom and making that center bloom the focal point with the other blooms as the accents. And so I don't mind that. So uh, let me dry my hands off. And um, I'm just going to take a peek in the center there and just see how much paint I have left. I like that there. It's not bad. Probably spin again, but I'll do it later off camera. Um, it's really quite pretty. I'm loving, loving, loving these colors. Uh, where's my spoon? I just want to, I think what I'm going to do is scrape this off. I lost my stick. What happened to my um, my little scraper? Oh, here we are. My palette knife. This is what I love using is the palette knife because it really scrapes well. Okay, so now before we go any further, I do want to slide it back this way. Settle it down in there before I spin again so that it doesn't go flying off my spinner. There, now I'm just going to just clean up the sides here a little bit to get that paint from not flowing off so much. And then I will take you down. Okay, it's really, really, really pretty. That copper and that green together. Very, very pretty. Got a couple bubbles in there that I'll have to get rid of. Um, yeah, okay, let me grab you and we will take you down. I'm at the other side of my table, so I'll have to swing you around. And there we go. And those stayed intact, which I'm very happy about. Look at all the cell action going on there inside the, uh, the petals. Very fun, very pretty. Copper is gorgeous. You can see the copper there and you can see it on the edge of the petal there. Those stayed intact quite well. And then there's the top bloom up there. We did lose that a little bit, but that's okay because it still filled up the area. And I don't mind my negative space. I think it's okay it balances out with the negative space over here in the corner so even though i was going for no negative space i don't mind this at all so thank you so much for joining me today i hope you all are enjoying yourself and if you like this video give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i would love that thank you so much and uh leave me a comment would love to hear what you have to say and until next time, bye.